Hey there, I'm Chris from Intro Games at IntroGames.com. This is a quick look at how much money, and bear in mind this is an unpublished prototype. How much money is a party game for teens or adults? And I should start by mentioning the adult version is not for the easily offended. Everything in this video is safe for work, but there is content in the full game that is not safe for work. To set up, choose one player to be the daredevil to start the game. This can be the oldest player, the youngest player, whoever won the last game, and so on. This will rotate clockwise every round. All players get a dry erase card, a marker, and uh, four poker chips of their color, three of which uh, stay in front of them, and then the fourth one goes on the scoreboard. The daredevil draws the top stunt card from the mild or wild deck, but before looking at the card, they call out top, middle, or bottom. Each stunt card has three bizarre, embarrassing, or weird stunts, so this helps to choose one at random. They then read their stunt out loud. So let's say I call bottom here, and I read this out loud. Swim across an Olympic-sized pool filled with sharks. Uh, the daredevil then writes down the amount of money it would take to make them do that thing. They can also write nothing, or no amount of money. Nothing meaning I would do it for free or no amount of money, meaning I would never ever do this thing. So if I'm this person, I would write down this answer. And of course the question here again is, swim across an Olympic sized pool filled with sharks. So the question is always, how much money would it take to get you to do that thing? So I would write my answer down here, and I would keep the secret from everyone else until the end of the round. All the other players are allowed and encouraged to ask questions that call for a yes or no, uh, for up to a minute or so. There's no real length here, but up to a minute is a good length of time. This is their chance to understand the daredevil a bit more. So if my stunt is swim across an Olympic-sized pool filled with sharks, I might ask questions like, um, are you afraid of sharks? Or are you a fast swimmer? Um, are you scared of sharks? And things like that. This is Again, this is my chance to kind of understand uh, the, the, the pain threshold or the fear threshold of, of the player here. So with the questioning done, all of their players write down how much they think the daredevil wrote down without going over. It's not about how much you would do it for, it's about how much the daredevil would do it for. Use a local currency or agree on a single currency familiar to everyone at the start of the game. And then once everyone's written their answers, flip them face up and arrange them from lowest to highest like this. So in this four player game, I have the daredevil's answer down here. The other three players have all submitted their answers here. And at this point, all of their players can place their three colored uh, poker chips to bet on which answers they think is closest without going over. Chips can go on your own answers or on other players' answers to help hedge your bets a little bit. So for example, uh, blue might take their three chips. And if they think 50,000 is definitely the correct answer, they'll want to put all three of their chips there. If uh, red might say, I want to put one on each of these to kind of hedge their bets a little bit. Uh, let's say white here is pretty sure it's 1 million, but it could also be 50,000, give or take. So once all bets are in, the daredevil reveals their answer, $100,000. And we learned that this answer was the closest, so the person that played this answer was blue. And they will get three points, one, two, three, for having the correct answer, the closest answer without going over. Every chip on the closest answer will score one point. So red had one chip, red will score one point. Blue had three chips, they will score three more points, one, two, three. Uh, white had one chip, they will score one. The daredevil does not score points on their turn, that's why, it's one reason it rotates a lot couple things that come up once in a while. Uh, sometimes a daredevil will say I would do it for nothing or I would do it for no amount of money. You can also bet on those answers as if they were any amount in the middle. And if someone is exactly right in terms of the number, a numerical number, they will get five points instead of three. Reset by erasing your dry erase boards, rotate the daredevil roll clockwise, and the first to 21 point wins. There's no strategy required in this casual party game, and it's simple enough for anyone to pick up. It's a great icebreaker, and while the questions right now are aimed at a more general adult only audience, these can be toned down if necessary. This has been How Much Money, and I've been Chris Bakke of Intro Games. Thanks for watching.